Hi friends, here is the auto complete which help us in guiding us in selecting the colors. I can just pick up from the list. These are all supported colors. So let's say blue something I am blue violet. Here it is. Now let's go for some green combinations. Green, green, yellow. Then let's come to some yellow combinations. I can pick up any sort of combination by just uh, using auto complete from a big list. Here is a list of all the colors uh, supported by Kinter. You can see the name and uh, red, green, blue values and the hex code is also available. And you can download the Excel file also with this all this data. So these color names directly can be used in our app, Kinter applications. Before we integrate the color list, just understand that in the part one of this autocomplete, we have discussed about the layout issues. And in the part two, we have discussed about the arrows, enter keys, and the entire source code is also available. And we discussed in detail how to create this. We'll start from here where we'll first create the source of it. So for the source, we'll import uh, pandas as pd because we want to read the excel file and if you can read in other ways also you can use it but pandas is the easiest way we want to create a list uh, with our color name of our colors so we'll say now let's the uh, once we are imported let's just paste the path of it so uh, the downloaded excel file is in my case it is here you in your case this will bound to change it in your location where you are downloaded now i am using read excel to create a data frame using the data whatever is available in the excel file that has around 761 rows of data are there and that gives one of the column let most is the name so what i am going to do is i am creating a my list my list is a list which will be using a source of data data frame and the column in that is name so name this is the column name so this particular column name and i am values and I'm creating a list using that one to list. So now I have my list as my source. Now in our original script, what you where you have discussed in part two, there is a my list is already there. Now this list will remove. Now I have a uh, here this my list will be considered as source. So I'll just write it here data source. Whatever the autocomplete, the list will be whatever we are getting is taken now from the list. Below that, all the Kinter applications which we have already discussed everything. One more step is there. But before that, let's just see this and how this one is working now. I can just, uh, I'm running this. Yeah, here it is. Now let's just see other uh, yellow. Yeah, it is coming up. But the color won't change because I have not configured that. For that purpose, let me just come back to inside my update. Where is my up, my down, my update? Here I am. Now I will add one line only here. What I have to do is my this particular my underscore w is the list box, whatever the list box L1, what I am using here, this widget, here it is. This list box background color, I will change to that. Even you can, I can do it for the entire window also, but because this will be a over the window, so better to for better appearance, I am using this. So what I am going to do is my underscore W. Okay, if you are getting confused at the source, my root is also my underscore W. So for that, let's just put it as one here. So that will be differentiate and value here. I will use one now here one. So this I am conf using config what i am the one of the option is bg or the background that is background color and this i am equating it to value now let's just save this and running you can get the details here let us see where is my window okay the previous window i have not closed it sorry i had to close this and now again running it should open up uh my window is here okay now let me just try yellow yellow three you can see this is this is the actually the list box if you read the part two of it you can understand how this list box is managed so now let me just go for red red fine now let's go for some gray gray lot of sets are there gray you can see many sets will be there so more you higher the value the light color it will take so this is the gray set now let's 
go for so this entire list i need not remember or find it, it, it can be used as a easy tool to get what set is required in our application and these names are supported by kinter also so the, that's all friend the entire source code you can download it and the, read the part two of the, our autocomplete beyond that we have just added change the source and the configure the back, uh, background of our list box and that should help you and uh, download it and use it and experiment with that and if you have any doubt suggestion questions or any ideas use the comment section below to post it and i request you please subscribe to our channel and uh, um, share with your friends and press the bell icon so you will be notified and thank you for watching